Alright guys, welcome to our first podcast. Yes. Yeah, I decided to take a break from LPing and decided to talk about one of my favorite mid series, or at least one of the latest ones. Joining me here, as you can probably tell from the tile screen, it is You want to go introduce yourself first or should oh, I go to GK. Hey of course. Along with Hello everyone, what's going on? Hey sir. And I am Ian, or Genesis013, as you probably know me on the internet. Internet. I am the interwebs. Yep, and here we're going to talk about how Pokemon X and Y. Indeed. Since it's yeah. kind of been like the new, one of the newest crazes in the, like the last half year. Yeah, in fact, I even hear people saying that it's better than black and white. Is I would not doubt, th you know, I wouldn't doubt them. I think it's definitely better than X and Y too. Or black and white too. There's yep. an X and Y too. Well, let's hope not. I meant black and white too, honestly. So saying I wasn't informed of this. Why? Um, probably because it probably would have ended up as a very terrible sequel. Probably. Yep. That's no, there's no, more. there is no X and Y too, but there is a Z. Yeah. Well, rumors of a Z, just like there's rumors of a remake of Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, which probably will not happen, but oh well. Right. Eh, if they made a remake of Emerald, I'd be happy. Same I would here. too, but if it doesn't happen, then no harm, no hurt feelings. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Yeah, this is my favorite bit out of the whole region. Johto was already remade. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm, I'm happy so, that Johto got a reboot. On uh, Kind of got a little remake. I'm happy for that. Yep. On to, I our, think first, Ian, on to our first topic, the gym leaders. <laughs> Ian. Yeah? You're the only one that understands this. Discount Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Not now, good sir. Somewhere in a time. <laughs> but yes, gym leaders, yes! Uh, we had some new gym leaders. Sadly, we didn't get a... We still haven't got a dark-type gym leader. This angers me, actually. I'm so angry about this. Anyways, I have nothing to say about it. There's already a fire-type gym leader and a dragon-type... Wait, was there a dragon-type gym leader? Um, not this go around actually. No. In fact, there's not actually, even a fire type gym leader. In fact, there's only a elite four her her fire type user. Well, I was meaning like the entire thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there a dragon? Wasn't it a uh, Claire? Oh, elite four. Yeah, there was. Huh. There, there was a dragon type gym leader. It was Claire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you meant. Yep. yep. Anyways, the gym leaders are as follows. Viola, the bug type gym leader. Yeah. I think she was actually good for a starting gym, actually. Yeah. Kind of she had she took a picture of you, though. Maybe. Hey, you. Yep. Grant, which I completely he swept, heaped out with my Lucario. Dude, I, I did not have the luxury of Lucario. I had just a simple, like, Pancham, like, five levels under. That dude swept me like a bitch. I just... I took him out with an Esper. And it's mostly because of that Tyrant of his. Because Rock and Dragon is apparently an OP, like, combination. Apparently. Then apparently it's a combination we all know. Then we had a unique spin with Korea. Which all I gotta say is... DAMN HER LALUCHA! You wanna know what I say about that lucha? You wanna know what I got to say about that Halucha man? What? Honed! Don't touch me! The sad thing is, you know I don't know what talking about. Oh, dear, okay. yeah, but, like, I just used my ghost type and I think I'll connect my bus and you live all the bell bar and just swept her face and swept her in her entire gym. I see. It was amazing. It was so Ian, you okay? Your microphone's coming in a little weird. Yeah, um, give me a quick sec. There's, it's something weird, so give me a quick second for that. Also, if you guys hear noises in the background, don't mind them. Okay, then. Yeah, does that work? Kind of. I am merely taking on my fate as to take on, as to take on what Ian knows as the Horde. Ah, ah good luck, good sir. Hey, you even know what I'm talking about, good sir. I don't. Probably not. I'm not really thinking right now. 
Dead Space 2. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. No. Yeah, no, no. Anyway, why I say Korea has a bit of a different Swiss is because you actually fire here, that, which she has a Mega Evolution for the Mega Ring. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's like kind of like that weird, like, sort of anime esque, like, final showdown in essence. It's kind of cool. Very yeah. nice. That was, that was badass. Hell was yeah. like, that was a nice touch. It was different. The difference good. Yeah. On occasion. Certainly. Next up, Given have... the circumstance, there can be good. Yeah, not to mention that she's cute. Moving on, we have Ramos, the grass-type gym leader. I love that man. That is an awesome old man. As a, isn't he the man with the scissors as a cane? Yeah. Basically, yes. I wish. And that... as Ian says, secretly a ninja. I mean, seriously, he has to be. Like... When you think about it, his entire gym is basically this gargantuan treehouse. Oops. Anyways. That's just awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah. Also, I mean, like, oh, Roman this, this will probably be, like, sort of a sidetrack, but wouldn't he make, like, Polly, like, the world's greatest grandpa? That? He would. Wouldn't surprise yeah. me. Yeah. Like, yeah. I could totally see He's that. He's, like, the greatest grandfather ever. Yeah. Oh. And your microphone. Oh. Sorry, give me another sec to fix right. this. Stupid. What the hell is going on with it, dude? I have no I idea. Have... Right. Uh, come on. Hello, chest tech. Hear me, guys. Your microphone keeps like going in and out at times. Uh, weird. Next up well, at least it does. Oh, at least it is on my end. I don't know about Brad's. It is on my end too. Well, crap. Well, at least it'll hopefully Cheat. be good enough for this little podcast. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to figure this out. All right, moving on. Might be just might be the angle I'm just positioning it. I guess. No. Oh, all right. It. Um. Yeah. Next up, we have the inventor of Luminoi City, a.k.a. Clamont. That was an interesting gym, That really. was a boring gym, I won't lie. I will be okay. honest. He had a boring gym. Okay. I wasn't meaning, like, the gym itself. I was meaning, like, where it, it's, like, how it was designed exterior-wise. That I can't tell you. It was pretty much, like, the Eiffel Tower, basically. Or the not Eiffel Tower. Basically, yeah. Yep. You see, but the, the, that's, that's the thing, though. You would think something with that kind of exterior, there might be something interesting in the inside, but no! It's, it's just a pop quiz. I, oh. I mean, I don't mind trivia for the most part, but it was just boring and tedious. And everything, and all the questions were, like, painstakingly easy. Except if you have no idea about the three elemental monkeys. Which even then you could easily guess. Is your passage and four? Yeah. Yep. Next up is no, our first know. first addition to the fairy type gym leaders. Valerie, I believe her name is. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do not care for that Mr. Mime. Did I kill it with fire? Dear God. That, like, that Mr. Mime actually nearly killed me, like, my first go with her. Like, she nearly swept, she nearly, like, completely over, like, made a comeback with that Mr. Mime alone. As for me, yeah. she was pretty, pretty decent. Oh, I hate that gym. I hate the fit. I hate her. Ah! Next up is Miss Get to the Point, Olympia. Olympia. She was the psychic type gym leader, right? Correct. She was the one with the really trippy gym. I loved her gym, honestly. I loved her. I loved fighting her. Like it was really nice. Yeah. I mean, I loved the gym mainly because I was just like. Because my reaction to it was, uh, I think I just went on a really weird trip. Yeah. Like, you're pretty what much just, like, in this, like, a new world all of a sudden. And it's so beautiful. I love it. It's like, I love it. <laughs> yep. I also love the fact that she always gets to the point when it comes to battles. Yeah. She's right there to the point. No, like, explanations. No, like, little fancy things. Like, no, we're here to fight. Let's do this. It's very cool. So nice. Yeah. It is. Last up for the gym leaders is Walfrick. That man. 
I liked his gym. I do like the gym puzzle there. It was really cool, and it actually did require a lot of thought. It actually required thought. Like that was actually cool. Yeah. And it's as why I had a hard time doing that. That's because you are an idiot, good sir. Yeah, this I know. But as for him as a fight, even though like you know, yeah, like the final gym leader is supposed to be like difficult and all, he I kind of swept him with like the fact that I only had like two fire type gym like t fire type like Pokemon at, my, at the time. But it was interesting at least, you know. I mean, I don't think we ever had like an ice as a final gym. Usually they're like the Seven. seventh gym. Usually. So it was different. It was, yeah. it was a nice experiment. Yeah. All right. Next topic, Elite Four. Ah, the Elite Four. Man, I think I like the, the, Elite, the, the Elite Four has always been kind of an interesting topic because usually it's hit or miss or like I'll end up liking just one specific member. Yeah. I think I can safely say I like almost all of the people in there. And I love, especially when you enter each of the rooms, it's so cinematic. Like, they have their own entrance, basically, that is themed on what they use. It's so good. Yep. I think the only gym I, the only one of the Elite Four I had the biggest problem with was the water one. Uh, Seabold? You know, yeah, that guy. I love when people say, tell me that Seabold is, like, hard, but he was, like, the second guy I knocked out. Like, I took... I took the former member of Team Flare out first. I took him next. I took... I can't remember the Steel guy's name, but he is Wicky amazing, Thor? by the way. Because he literally just yells, yeah, my Wickstrom. buddy is ready. Wickstrom. Wilkstrom. I love that guy. He pretty much... That guy is awesome. I like him. Especially when he yells, like, my body is ready for this. And I think the one person that actually did have trouble was Drozna, actually. She... And she is, like, so adorable. She's like the one old lady you want to have as a family member. Yeah. No, she's not even that... It's just... Oh, she's so adorable. I love her. But that... But she... Her dragon types nearly destroyed me. Right. Yeah, it's all... With she's that. all adorable up until that point. <laughs> that no, When the Neuver comes. The Neuvern comes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes that Neuvern does not... Me she does not mess around with that Neuvern. <laughs> Wiki Storm... What am I say? She's batshit like insane. I Wiki Storm. She's not insane. She's just she's kind of hard. She just has like a bunch of dragon tests and she doesn't like mess around. She gives she's straight to the point. She knows what she's she knows how to fight for sure. Yeah, yeah. heck, I just I don't want to use a bat fun. Hmm. In fact, in fact, if you face her, you actually get a reference to Dialga and Palkia. Really? Yeah. 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 She said she was born in a town where. What was it? It's like I was born in a town where I was. Where it was like something about time and space. Yep. Oh my god! I, oh god! I do remember now. She does mention like she does hint that she was from. She's actually from Sinnoh. Oh, oh my god! Yep. That's so nice. <laughs> On to uh, there's only four. There's always a champion. Er, hold on. There we go. Miss Di Diantha, I believe her name is. Yep. When I first saw her, I was thinking, please tell me that's not a man. I won't. I won't lie. I was kind of. I was. I was actually kind of surprised because, you know, usually you you usually meet the you meet the champion, but like you kind of, but you like kind of know it's them because there's like some air. This one, I don't think they showed the champion or they showed Jadantha, but they never hint of her being remotely being the champion. Then suddenly it is her. Yep. Which I will say was a surprise. Whoa, what the hell? It was a very good surprise. What just happened? And as for her battle. As well as the fact that she does use a Mega Evolution, it's it's actually a very good fight. Actually, I I enjoyed it honestly. It was kind of easy, but it was very good. Yeah, it was satisfying at least. Yeah, in fact, whenever I face her, I always end up using Mega Lucario to some extent. I always use I always use my Mega Blaze again. You know what's the best thing? What? I still remember like my crowning achievement when I fought her was. She sends her her Gardevoir, Mega evolves it, and as soon as she finishes that, Aegis, my Aegis Slash comes with a Shadow, or like Shadow Claw, kills her instantly with that move. So pretty much just Demon Sword through the heart. Yeah. Oh, you know what's so really cool. kind of funny? What? Yeah. Is mentioning the champion, and a lot of people are going to be watching this going, what the hell, he's really weird about this. Is that, and Brad and Ian know this, is that, well, as I think they do, is that a long time ago when I was playing Emerald, I had thought, you know, a good pair for Pokemon would be my Blaziken and a Gardevoir. 
Imagine the irony. Fighting, when a, I found out that that fighting was a, a Mega Fighting a Mega Gardevoir with a Mega Blaziken, I suppose. Oh yes. The irony struck you very hard, I guess, eh? Very interesting. Very nice. Well, not really. Not really. I was just like, huh, that's ironic. And I was like, well, that happened. Yep. That became a thing. Um, now on to who a villainous team that's known in the Kalos region, Team Flare. I'm sorry, they make me laugh. <laughs> I, you know what? I like to say they make me laugh too, but I also have to say they are possibly one of the best villain teams we've had in a while. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the they've got to be at least the most organized. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, like, like let me, let me, let me explain myself here. Like, basically, they're basically Team Flare, and it's and it's right as a cult in essence. They try to get, they try to get other people to join their cause. They dr they all dress very similar, and they act in very similar ways. However, like, their main goal is like make the world beautiful and whatnot. But what you don't realize is like the. The whole goal of their plan turns so dark, and it's just it's so wonderful. It's like, we're going to make the world beautiful by ki destroying the entire world, except, and kill anyone that is not like us. Yep, that's why if it's I ever make beautiful. a top ten list of of best villain plans, my Saturday's plan will go on the list. Oh my god, like... I, I I have a love for Team Flare now. Like I I thought I was gonna make fun of them as just being like some like weirdo like pseudo like fashion police or something, but it turned out I was so wrong. See, that's what I thought they were was fashion police. I was like, what is this? But you know what? Yeah, props props to like I believe Team Pokemon who works on this. Like we're pretty much making a villain team that literally just blew, like threw all the expectations and gave us a general genuine surprise. Yeah, unlike black, black and white, where we got an evil PETA team. We basically got we basically got like dark dark world PETA. Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Oh my god! Excuse me for a moment, guys. Continue speaking. All right. All right. So, no, uh, but what's a team without a boss, Lysandre? You know what? I think I'm not the. I think I could safely say this because I'm sure everyone saw this, but. When I first saw Lissandre, I pretty much was just like, I have a feeling you're the actual, you're the villain. <laughs> and it was just based on, like, his hair, basically. I just saw his hair, and, like, I saw the quote of him saying, like, I wish to see a world that is beautiful. It's like, hmm. I have a feeling you're going to be the villain somehow. Yeah, you're not what crazy you at all. What do you know? What do you know? But what I, but what <laughs> So when I so when I so when, I, so when, I, when he reveals himself, it's like I am actually the leader of Team Flare, by the way. You know, it's not much of a surprise, but then you realize what his actual plan is. What he wants to do is like, like, oh dear God. Now, see, when I first saw Lysander, I looked and I was like, this guy. Well, two things came to my mind. One, this guy, he doesn't even come off as a good guy to me. And two, that is an awesome hairdo. Well, but at the same time, like even. He's even though he's the villain, I don't really see him as, like, you know, the stereotypical battle guy. Like, I'm going to, like, destroy the world for the sake of being just a complete and total prick. But, no, it's 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 different, really, in his case. Because he's actually, in his mind, he's doing a good, he's wanting to do something good. He wants to, like, try to improve the world and with very extreme means. Yeah, no. Like, I'm, I'm going to awaken this, I'm going to use the power of this, like, legendary Pokemon who has power over life and or death to power this ancient this ancient weapon that was created 3000 years ago by like my ancestor's brother to destroy all life to reset everything but as a price pokemon will no longer exist because of this and when i saw that tear i i realized how much he understood the weight of his decision yeah not to mention that his battle theme actually fits him a subtle yet evil villain it is Pretty much it's amazing how, like, subtle, like, I think he's, like, the first subtle villain we've had in, like, a very long time in, like, Pokemon. I could be wrong, Indeed. but he feels, like, the most subtle, I believe. Even though he doesn't, even though it, he his outfit screams villain, he's very subtle as a villain, though. That's the best part. Exactly. Because he generally just seems like I want, I'm just, he just seems like a random guy, like, just some extremist who wants to try to make a difference and just... He has a there. He has a good cause. He has a good like just justification for wanting to change things, but he's just going about it wrong, basically. At the end of the day, and it's more tragic, if anything. 
Yep. It really is. <clears throat> Even more so when you meet Ma when you meet as like dear God, I was in tears when I, <laughs> I was in tears at the end of that. Yeah, that was pretty sad. The feels, the feels, the feels. Yep. Now on to the to the next generation of Pokemon, which is well this generation. The ca the generation that was brought the the Cal the Pokemon of Kalos. You know what I. I I won't lie. I actually like I like this generation a lot. I love a lot of Pokemon in in the sixth gen. Yeah, they aren't really all that bad. Yeah. I mean, like yeah, you have some people like ah, oh, Pokemon so good. Ah, they're still some dumb things, but for the most part, it's just like no, yeah, it's actually very good. It's well, I like them all. Like yeah, there's some things that are like quote unquote unoriginal, but um, <clears throat> everyone ha every gen has had that. Yeah, every gen yep. has had that in their life. Yep, in fact, one of my favorite additions is pretty much a fairy Eevee known as Slavion. I hate Sylveon so much. I hate Sylveon. Uh, actually, I will say, the one move that was introduced into this generation that I despise is Moonblast. Dear God, that thing is like... That seems like way... It feels way too powerful than it actually is, you know? Yep. Something like that. It does. It's just like, Moonblast, Moonblast, Moonblast! Like, ah! Then we have Aegislash, which is basically the final evolution of... Oh yeah, Hone Edge. Hone Edge. Aegislash is nice, but at the same time, I feel... As much as I do enjoy, like, the fact that we have a Ghost Steel type, because it's different, it's just... It's kind of become, like, the problem with, like... It's become, like, the Lucario of Black and White 2, in which it's, like, extremely overused, and everyone and their mother kind of has an Age Slash, which is there. And I'm like, eh. Yep. Although, probably my favorite... One of my favorite additions that they brought into is definitely the... One of the two Ghost Grass types, Gower Geist. Nice. I love, I love it. I love her. Speaking of, my other favorite is Tree Trevor Nance. Trevernet is also cool. I will not. I I give that credit to. You. He's pretty. He's pretty cool. Yep. You're facing. You're basically facing a possessed tree. How more not hardcore only, could you get? Not only a possessed tree, but a guardian of a fo the guardian of a forest. A forest guardian that is a possessed tree. Exactly. That is pretty hardcore, honestly. There is also a new feature in Pokemon X and Y. Now that's Mega Evolutions. Ah, now that, that is something good. Mega Though I really wish it would have done more Pokemon, is that the Mega Evolutions were actually a way you could change the tide of battle. Heck yeah. Yeah, um, the way I feel about Mega, I have mixed feelings on Mega Evolutions. Like, there's some ev evolutions just, like, I'm, like, I, I support all the way because, like, I enjoy, like, how, again, like, as you guys mentioned, it brings a new tide to the battle. However... At this, uh, on the same spectrum and on the other end, there's just, like, we have, like, some evolution that just, like, are unneeded or don't really change at all. Or just have, like, very weird designs, like, my thoughts with Absol, sadly. At least, change the, the at least, at least change the typing if you're going to give it wings. Maybe give it flying. Make some justification for the wings. Exactly. Make it like a freaking Pokemon Sephiroth, why don't you? I was going to make that joke. By saying, you know what, sir, what Mega Absol reminds me of? Super rough! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. And I think another thing I wish they could have done, like, with some of the Mega Evolutions, like, and I suppose. And this is and this is just personal on my part, but I kind of wish some of the evolution Mega Evolutions were actually just, like, an actual evolution of, like, some, per, like, certain Pokemon, you know, like... True, like, Mawa. Yeah. Or, like, like the Mega, like, Mega Banette, for instance. I wish that was the actual, like, ev like the next evolution for Banette, basically. True. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion, personally. I don't know anything, because I'm just a man of the internet. It's, ba it's basically your soapbox. Yeah. That's my personal soapbox. Yeah, in fact... Heck, to be honest, my favorite Mega Evolution was Mega Lucario. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, w I will say, fav my favorite evolutions are still are probably Gengar and Benad, mostly just because one is just, like, this amazing, like, weird thing with the third eye, and the other one is a doll that's ripping itself apart, basically. Yep. 
I don't think I've ever seen Mega Bennett. Oh, you need to, good sir. It's so good. It looks so awesome. Hells yeah. Oh my god. Well, there's a lot of things I need to do, too. I'll, 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 try to send, I'll try to send you a link to a picture of Mega Bennett, like, after this. Alright. And finally, the yeah. legendary Pokemon. Right. Plus, any last words you guys have? Ah. You battle for life! Hells yeah. Do you know about that? Battle! All the ob Oblivion Wing you know things. Wing. Uh, we basically have our own, like, gigantic angel of death, basically, which is kind of awesome, the fact that they are openly admitting that. That's basically, basically what the battle is. Yeah, and they openly admit it! That's the best part! They don't deny that it's, like, an agent of death. They don't They don't deny that, so it's, it's like, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, in fact, I know someone in real life who says that that Yveltal's Pokedex entry, well, one of them, is, a, is suitable for a creepypasta. Not. <laughs> Which one is that, the X or the Y? Because I know Y says, like, basically when it's on his last leg, it steals all life around him and becomes a cocoon. <laughs> now that, I think that's Y. Yeah, I think that's Y. Yeah, that's that's Y. I know, I know that one for sure, because that is, and that is actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> nice. Xerneas? Well, what We basically got the angel of death. What better Zernias, to represent I have no... life? What better to represent life than, well, a fairy type? And, I mean, I understand, like, where they're going with the deer, I suppose, like, with the, sim, sim, like, mytho mytho mythological, like, representation of that, but... I just wish, like, if it is, if they are going to call the other part X and Zernaeus is supposed to be the representation of X, I wish they could have given him a bit more of a design that kind of, you know, gave sort of an emphasis of that, other than just, oh, it's just the gleam of his eye that has the X, or is what the Yvettel is just pretty much a gigantic Y. Yep, and we uh, also have Z. Yeah. Not, not Z, that's the name of my Zygarde. Yeah, Zyg Zygarde. I, lo I, lo I like Zygarde, because basically... He is the balance between life and death. He is the decay and rebirth. And that is actually... And I love that for some reason. Oddly enough, I, I saw him as purgatory. That's... You can, easily, you can even go for that. He's basically all of that. And what I like as well is... Basically, a lot of the decks... The, the decks entries always hint to him. He's just like... He's basically sitting... He's hiding far, far below. Basically watching the world... Like, die, raise, and just... Will destroy itself, and he's just observing basically from a from like deep below, and just watching the world burn in essence. Ah, uh, so kind of like observer from uh, Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Kind of. So, guys, any last words? Um. You better for life. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um. This was actually this was a fun little thing to do for sure. Yeah. I enjoyed. It. I was enjoying. I'm enjoying this. It was fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of, in the time of this video, oh, there's a rumor of a Dianchi coming out. Ah, uh, hello, everybody. Don't care for your Dianchis, even though it's, a lot of people are like saying, ah, oh, it'll be fun. I personally don't care for it. I'm not going to care for it, honestly. The uh, hell are you two talking about? Dianchi is apparently this mutated carving that's going to be coming out soon as like a new legendary. Yep. Again, huh. I'll send you a link, Eric, so you can know more about it. If you want, and I can see what it looks like. Yeah, like I said, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no, I have no opinion, honestly. I probably won't care for it. It'll be fun to me. For my opinion, it would be a good idea for a Gajinka, but <laughs> Pokemon Gajinka in real life. <laughs> oh my god. But other than that, eh, I'll probably use it, though I won't. <laughs> I, pro I probably won't end up using using Deontay. I'll probably just keep doing what I usually do. Which is just blow all the things up. No, go for go find ghost types and exploit the crap out of them. <laughs> that works. Ghost master type for life. Ghost type for life. Yeah. All right. You middle for life. <laughs> well, that's apparently our last words. So right. So for now. So until next time, which will hopefully be either more Frogger 2 or Super Mario Bros. All-Stars. Whichever Brad prefers to rage in. 
Of course. Or hell, maybe even my screw around of Cat Mario. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> For those of you... Uh, hold on, Brad. I'm going to let the people know if they don't know. Okay. For those of you who don't know, I did a video view special, played Cat Mario. I actually enjoyed it more than I raged at it. Oh, my God. Uh, t please tell me we're actually having a plug-in. We're plugging stuff in now. <laughs> yep. All right, anything else you guys want to say before we stop this? I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> That's been a while since I actually heard that. Oh, man, that was actually pretty well done. Why you gotta judge? I like turtles. Man, no one's judging, no yeah, one's judging. I'm just saying. We just haven't heard that quote in a while. <clears throat> I got nothing else to say. All right. And I think I'm pretty good as well. All right, until next time, see you guys. Bye. Bye.